Hey, y'all, th I showed you um, the, what do they call it, the good witch of the east. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to show y'all the wicked witch of the west. Go ahead, my God. Smile for me. Smile. <laughs> she doesn't like her feet messed with because she doesn't like having her nails clipped. So <laughs> anytime my husband touches her feet, she smiles at him. There's this old boy coming to get your gingerbread cookies. What are you going to say to him? Leave my cookies alone. Get away from my cookies. <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to show you how I put together the double paper bag. Okay, the Wicked Witch has gone to bed with Daddy, so um, thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you guys how I did the double paper bag mini and also how I used my Martha Stewart corner punches to embellish the... Um, photo mat or tag tabs and I, um, I've had a couple of people ask me about some of the products that I use on these minis and I use Scribbles 3D paint for um, the brew that was bubbling out of the cauldron and then I use some alcohol ink, some stickles, glimmer mist and of course embossing powder and um, black soot distress ink and then this is the Versamark Dazzle watermark stamp pad. It's um, champagne and it's looks kind of funny but it just gives a real sheer just real pretty shimmer. So I use that a lot on um, both of those minis. And the first thing I guess what I'll do is show you how I did <clears throat> the tabs. For instance how I um, did these and I used the Stampin' Up! Tab, tab Punch. Just punch out a tab and um, I'll just go ahead and fold it over okay then I take whatever the um, overlay color is going to be and in this case it's going to be pink and I use one of my Martha Stewart punches and I would imagine you could use any of them for this do your punch then you just follow with your tab punch and line it up in there. Make sure I've got it even. And punch that out. And then you just fold this over. Let me get it straight here. Okay, and then you just simply slide it in over your, um, and I did that one a little bit crooked. Let me just take some scissors here and clip off this little tab right there, and there you go. Just glue it down and you have um, embellished your little tabs just to help make it coordinate. <clears throat> A little bit better so that is that part and y'all aren't gonna believe how easy this double paper bag mini is to do and I'm actually going to show you on the um, one of the minis because I didn't do it on every single page but I see I had put it together and then had more ideas and I was like okay how can I add pages when I already had it bound and this is how I came up with adding pages and I just used standard craft lunch bags on this one and where you have your your bottom, you just taper it in like this on both sides. Doesn't have to be even, you know, because this part's not going to show. And then all you do on the end of your paper bag page, you just insert this just like that. And then you take your glue. And you would just run it on the inside and press it down to hold and then you have your additional page your additional flap and you can shorten it um, however you want it or you can actually do you know a pocket and um, have it do a flip out so it's really it's endless what you can do with it but that's all I did I mean that's all there is to it to, to make the double paper bag mini and add more pages. So that's it y'all. Hope that helps. If you have any questions whatsoever on any of it, just give me 
send me a message or comment and I'll answer everything. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks.